In today's video, we are going to be supplementing on a Home Depot doormat. It is the famous Home Depot mat that everyone has been supplementing on. So this is going to be my first attempt on it. So if you want to see how I did it, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do cricket and supplementation videos. So if either of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family. Let's jump into okay. it. So we have our mat. Again, this mat is 18 by 30. It is the Stylewell, Stylewell brand at Home Depot. So before you do this, you want to make sure you find your pressure on your heat press. I am focusing my design in this inner rectangle. So this inner rectangle, when I measured it, it was 24.75 inches in width and then 12.5 in height. So I made my design to fit that and I cut my design into so I have two different papers. I did them on eight by 14. So I'm just gonna cut along the edges so that I can put my design together. So. Hold on. Where's my E? Oh no, had some technical difficulties, but I'm back. Okay, so I have my two papers. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna bring them in and line them up how I think they should be. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my heat tape I'm just gonna connect them like that. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put some heat tape on the seam. Maybe not on all of it, just right here. But I am gonna cut off right here where the seam kind of overlaps into half of the O. So now I'm gonna just put my design to the side for right now, now that it's all taped up. And I'm gonna take a lint roller and um, make sure it's a fresh sheet. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna lint roll it. I don't think it'll be too much of a Deal, like if there's still lint on this because it's just gonna mat like kind of like disappear in all the different colors and stuff but I still want to do it just in case you can see my lint roller is full okay so I'm gonna take my design and I'm gonna figure out where I want it and once I know where I want it Once I know where I want it, I'm gonna take my heat tape. This heat tape is from Amazon. It's linked down below and the dispenser as well. Heat tape is super important. Don't try to use regular tape. It's just gonna melt. So I'm gonna tape it pretty good because I'm gonna have to press this in a few passes. So I don't want it to shift because we don't want ghosting or anything like that. So I'm gonna tape it down really good. Okay, same thing with th this top design. I'm gonna tape it down really good. And some people may be like, oh, you're wasting heat tape. But no, like I think it's important. If not, it can just, you know, it can save you from having to deal with ghosting and other stuff from like it shifting while you're trying to move it to press other areas, so. No shame in how much um, 
tape you actually use okay hold on okay so i after i did all that i realized my s is too much to that side and i want it to be a bit more even so i'm just shifting it a bit to kind of just get that to be even Okay, I think I'm good. So we're gonna move to the heat press and we're gonna press this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So let's move to the heat press. So I'm gonna put butcher paper underneath just because I wanna protect my heat press in case the mat melts or anything like that. So then I'm gonna bring over my mat. So I'm gonna take some butcher paper and put it on top because I'm using Ace of Paper and I don't want to damage my heat press. Like I, said. And if I don't use butcher paper, it is going to, the ink will get onto my heat press. Press down. can just press the part that I haven't pressed yet into this. So it turned out well overall there's a little bit of ghosting right here so maybe press part of it and then tape down the second half um and press it that way um but overall i think it's really cute and it looks really nice and i love it it's perfect